Look, it's the mother. There she is now. Hello, mother. How are you? Oh, I might be infected right now. I have no idea. Another beautiful day in quarantine, Ruhan. We have arrived at quarantine. We're out, masked off. Well, earlier I spoke to Ben Kavanagh, who's from Ireland and working as a teacher in Wuhan. Well, where I am is usually quite a busy street. But... <laughs> Number one trending on YouTube in the world is my fat face. Oh, my God. Hi, how are you? My name is Ben Kavanagh. I live in Wuhan and today I'm going to go to the shop. One mask, another mask. Apparently this mask actually doesn't do much, but two masks is always better than one. Hopefully nothing's getting in through my mouth. Can't forget the most important thing. And the silliest thing. Right. Oh my God. Got a big backpack. Got a big suitcase. Okay. Let's go to the shop. I don't expect to run into anyone today. I'm not gonna touch them with my hands. I'm just gonna knee it. Uh, I love it. No one around. It's open. Yeah. Another beautiful day in quarantine, Ruhan. It's so quiet. Fruit's still open. That's a good sign. There is my friend. We are going to the shop. Don't need to look left and right, there's no cars. Hello. Hello. How are you? I'm well, are you well? I'm well. Got your suitcase? Got my suitcase, it's very large. Let's go. So this is Hong Kong Road. Usually a very, very busy road. But obviously not today, not for the foreseeable future. Great to bike though. One of the 6,000 taxis deployed. Would rather not get in it though. People still queuing for the pharmacy. Maybe prescriptions. This is a city with a population bigger than London, and it is empty. I moved to China almost two years ago. I finished university and I was looking for work. I got an email saying, do you want to teach in China? And I was like, all right, I'll go teach in China. I teach English and psychology. The Christmas just gone was my second Christmas not at home in Ireland. New Year was probably more fun. It was just me and two other close friends. It was just such a fun night. We drank, we played games. It was just a really nice way to bring in the New Year. I remember virus rumors. I think it was the 31st of December. There was a fish market. People who worked at the fish market, they were all taken to a hospital, but my dad messaged me about it because he was reading the newspaper. He sent me a picture and it said, SARS outbreak something in China and I was like oh I've heard of that no need to worry and then my mother messaged me seeing it because she's hearing about it now in the news and I'm like don't worry don't worry no need to worry it's nothing just a little thing in a fish market and look how wrong I was it's just like a horror zombie movie where there's no one on the streets it's so strange so surreal but that is something I never expected to see The punishment for driving is a fine and potentially losing your license. So these people must have good reason to be driving. 
Where do you go? Little puppy. He's so cute, but we're not gonna risk going near him. Wow, that was cute. What is this, eight lanes, 10 lanes? 10 lane road. We were worried, but it is open. We have arrived. Car four. Empty shopping center. So the supermarkets are full of stuff. Fruit and veg, all fresh stuff. All well stocked. Yeah, love to see it. Don't even know what that is. Some sort of, maybe a stingray, I don't know. Everyone's still buying meat produce. Give that a miss for a while. Gloves, ripped, whatever. Yeah. Yeah. We both got the same idea. Bye bye. bye, -bye. Eggs, check. Everything else, check. 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 Let's go. Self checkout only. And we are gonna be a while. Okay. Okay, she's here. We have finished in the shop. Heavy suitcase. Now back out to a deserted city. First, we have an update on the spread of the deadly coronavirus. There are now calls for the federal government to take drastic measures. 56 people have died so far. On the front line of a new viral epidemic. Wuhan is a city now in lockdown. Cut off from the rest of the world. I'm just making dinner. Bit of pasta, bit of corn, couple of hot dogs. Probably some fruit as well, and some peanuts just for a bit of protein. Like I said, you're a very basic meal. This isn't Gordon Ramsay. Kitchen nightmares. This is all stuff I bought the other day at Car 4. There you are. Bit of pasta. Couple of hot dogs thrown in as well. Lovely job. I went to put on a hoodie because it's a bit chilly. Damn, that did not go well. A bit of butter. Kerrygold, actually. Oh, I don't know if I meant to say that. Never mind, it's not Kerrygold. Just standard Chinese butter. Does the job. Does the job. So this is where I have been quarantined. Lovely apartment. There's a puzzle of Totoro, my friend from the shopping video. She did that on Christmas Day. Uh, the bedroom and my balcony where I would usually hang up washing. Grand, lovely, lovely view of Wuhan. Listen to the silence of a city of 10 million. Hundreds of foreigners in Wuhan are returning home. France and Australia have ordered evacuations. 200 or so Americans from arriving at a military air force base. The first Japanese evacuees arrived in Tokyo on Wednesday morning. Quite a lot of developments today. Uh, there's many, many talks about evacuations. I'm not going to leave if the risk to others is great. I don't make the decision to make the evacuation, but if it is an option, I think it makes sense to take it because we don't know how this situation will develop. You're constantly getting updates. That was, uh, that. I, that's not my screensaver, by the way. That's just what happens, just random stuff. I know that looked weird. 
Like, I don't know, I might be infected right now. I have no idea because of the long incubation time. I don't think I am. I think I'm okay. But we can't take that risk. Also, it's my birthday. What a fun birthday in quarantine Wuhan. It's, uh, what time is it? Nine o'clock in the PM. So I think after almost a week of quarantine, I deserve a birthday beer. I thought Corona, maybe not given the situation. So I went with a different beer, not Corona. There you go. To good health. Good evening. The death toll increases. The virus may be spreading even faster than previously thought. Coronavirus has gone global. There is no cure or no vaccine. Confirmed cases are now just under 6,000. The death toll has now jumped to over 100. I'm not scared. No. No, there you go. I'm not scared. Um, when I go to bed, your mind starts to wander. The way all, you know, when you're going to bed and you can't sleep, you just start to think crazy things, but try not to think about it. It's not time to worry yet, not for me. I'm not infected as far as I know. I, I just try not to worry about anything. If I worry about it now and then it happens, then I've suffered twice. I've suffered when I worried and I suffer when it happens, so no point worrying. Good evening. The World Health Organization has declared the coronavirus outbreak in China a global health emergency. The United Kingdom government has unveiled plans to bring back Britain stranded in China. There is a seat for me on the British evacuation flight. It's going to fly into an RAF base and then after that they'll be quarantined for two weeks. So that's what I've always wanted if I was to be evacuated. Yeah, it's still a very hard decision to leave this life behind because there's just always the worry that you won't get it back and obviously this is mm, my house is where I live so that is really affecting my decision but overall I think the health you got to think of your health so that's what I'm doing we're here we're here at the toll bridge before you go to the airport taking names making sure everyone's on the list Chinese watching everything's going smoothly. Getting ready to go. Oh, okay. I shall get on the bus. Let's go home. It's 3 a.m. We waited on that bus for. Whew. Over four hours. I think now we're doing health checks. Yeah, this is the British flight, uh, evacuation flight. I think it's also the Spanish one because I think it goes to England first and then Madrid. And any Irish who are leaving, like myself, and that guy in yellow, we're on this flight too. And we'll be quarantined in England. Yeah, getting our tickets for the plane. A uh, strange system, but no other way to do it. That looks like our boy getting us out. I'm on the evacuation plane with the British and the Spanish and a few other nationalities. So as you come onto the plane, you're given a seat number. They write down your name and your seat. It's just so if the infection spreads on this flight, maybe I get infected because I'm sitting beside this person who got infected, no one else is infected, so you know we can narrow it down. I asked the guy who was given the seats for legroom. He gave me legroom, lovely. Lovely bit of legroom. But it came at a price. And that price is I'm by the toilets. So I don't know if that increases my chances of being infected. But I'm sure it doesn't help. It's none of the last week. None of those days have felt like real days. So this also doesn't feel like a real day, if you know what I mean. So the tiredness kind of just escapes you because it just none of this feels real. Okay, this will be my last video for a while. I'll let you know if there's any more updates. More than 80 Britons have been flown back from Wuhan in China. Waiting for them at Bryce Norton were medics and police. Wow. Damn. 
and a fleet of horsemen-branded coaches, as if the scene wasn't already apocalyptic enough. They're going to be uh, kept in quarantine, away from their family for the next 14 days. Almost there now. Traffic still stopped for us. 83 Britons at Arrow Park Hospital in the Wirral will be kept in quarantine in a separate accommodation block. How are you? We have arrived at quarantine. All right, so, second fall? No. Uh, whatever. Just arrived at quarantine in the Wirral. Dice, you know, I was, we were all worried. We had no idea what to expect. Didn't know if it would be like an actual hospital, but I think, I think this is nurse's accommodation. My room for the next two weeks. Quarantine. All right, like, it's all right. Grant. Grand. Some allergy free sweet and sour chicken. Oh no. Oh, come on. There we are. Shouldn't be too hard for two weeks. I don't know if you can see those people. They know we're here. They know we're here. Having a look. There you are now. Lovely. Friendly neighbours. It's close to 40 hours anyway since I left my apartment. Hopefully that's not the last time I see it. Hopefully I get to go back when this is all over. Uh, but yeah, definitely need a shower. That's one good thing about the masks. We can't smell anyone else, even though we've all, we probably all smell disgusting. Probably a good choice to come home. Let's just hope we can all get through this and let's hope everyone in Wuhan stays well the people that didn't come home and the Chinese people that live there. Hopefully everyone will be okay. Well, this is where we are for the next two weeks. No one's out until we're all clear. So that's exactly what we wanted. Here we see all the cards and flowers people have been sending in the community. Special shout out to Shazara and Callum for some lovely drawings. Bit of entertainment as well. Grand. <laughs> I've been told actually I've been wearing the mask kind of upside down some of the times in the video. Here I'll show you. Where's, where's one? What I was doing was wearing it like this. I thought I don't read Chinese. I thought maybe that said top. So I was wearing it like that. But stupidly, obviously, you use the little wire. You put it on the right way. Don't do stupid things like I did. Wear the mask the right way. Constantly wash your hands. Make sure you've got all that if you're worried about the virus yourself anywhere in the world. Just got a shipment of deliveries. Lovely. This, this is the most important thing. Now we can stay in quarantine for as long as necessary. Doesn't matter if we get sick. We have the cure right here. Chris. Matt. Snacks. Poker set. Oh, there's no cards in the thing. Uh, I'll probably do a little video during poker. Only when I have good cards. This is all from my mother. My mother lives in Liverpool. We're in the Wirral and they're just across the river from each other. Ben, tell your mom hi for us. She raised a good man. God bless her. God bless us all, eh? God bless us all in this situation. As far as I'm aware, None of us are showing symptoms, we're all grand. But even so, I sneezed like three times yesterday and I was like, oh no, this is it. Lovely, and now I will turn this into a delicious breakfast sandwich. Uh, not this though, uh, this, is, this is hand sanitizer. Oh good lord, look at that baby. Emily dropped me off a package. She sent me Irish snacks. Irish snacks and you love to see it. And thank you so much to Emily for that. Our last night, Wednesday, will also be a poker night. And I think 
on that night. A lot of people will come just to enjoy our last night. Well, hopefully our last night anyway. Are you, are you recording now? You know we can edit this in post. I bet they won't actually edit out me asking if you're recording. <laughs> At midday today, it'll be 14 days since we arrived. So, time to go home. This is the earliest I've woken up. Oh God, I need a belt so badly. This is the earliest I've woken up. Ah, oh, in days. <laughs> I know nine o'clock isn't early, but it has been a while since I saw nine o'clock. Okay, I'm packed. Hello? Time to go. Grand, just checking under the bed. So I haven't put this jacket on in two weeks. And this is the jacket I came in and I looked in the pocket. <laughs> ah, good times, eh? Ah, taking off the mask. That's it, get rid of that. It's, now. it's all done. See you now. Bye. We're out, masked off, all well. Oh, there they are, yeah. Proper press there now. Look, it's the mother. There she is now. Oh. Hello, mother. How are you? Oh, how are we? I'm well. Hi, Ben Kavanagh here uh, in Liverpool with Raffaella, my mother, out of quarantine with the famous pint. All is well. <laughs>